Sri Paramita. Thank you. Uncommon name, unusual name, Paramita. Yes. Can you please explain what is the meaning of Paramita? Sir, the word Paramita in Sanskrit, it literally means uh, the person on the other shore. It is a concept of Mahayana Buddhism, sir, where there, is, there are six Paramitas the, that one has to attain in order to uh, attain Nirvana. So these six Paramitas are basically taking a person from the shore of rebirth to the shore of Nirvana, sir. What will make you achieve Nirvana if given a chance? Sir, Nirvana uh, is not something that I, I think anyone can achieve uh, in, in a lifetime. I mean, people like us, normal people like us, uh, can achieve in a lifetime. You uh, think that those who achieve, they are not normal? They are normal, sir. Uh, they are, uh, I would like to say, they were, uh, I mean, they had uh, extraordinary, uh, uh, I mean, they wanted it uh, extraordinarily, I, I would uh, rather say. Okay, so... Given a chance, yes, sir. which path you will choose, Paramita, to achieve Nirvana? Which path, sir? Which uh, path you will choose to achieve Nirvana if you are given a chance? What will be your way to achieve Nirvana? Sir, I will uh, continue to strive uh, to uh, work for the people uh, around me and to uh, provide them the benefits uh, of uh, all the uh, developments and all the good things that I have uh, acquired in my life. Uh, that, I think, sir. Uh, Paramita, if you stay associated with the social world, yes, materialistic sir. world, yes, which carries such responsibilities, do you think you'll be able to achieve Nirvana? It requires sacrifice and leaving everything aside. So, do you really think getting back to work and telling them what you have learned, will that give you sacrifice? Like, would that will make you learn about Nirvana? Sir, uh, there is uh, Dan Paramita, Shri Paramita, Shanti Paramita, Virya Paramita, Dhyan Paramita and Pragya Paramita, sir. Okay. I think this dot com era, yes, sir. This, from where we got this email ID, yes, sir. what does it mean dot com? Why it is dot com? Sir, I'm sorry, I'm not aware. Do you think we are still in the dot com era or we have evolved out of it? Which era are we in currently then? in terms of technology? Uh, sir, uh, I think we are still in the dot-com era uh, because, I mean, everything around us is moving, uh, I mean, it's it's mo going digital more and more. So, uh, it, dot com means having uh, more and mo more websites and uh, having uh, a digital present uh, all over. So, then uh, I think we are still in dot-com era, sir. However, we are coming up with newer uh, uh, innovations uh, every day. Okay. And uh, your Perganas, you come from North Surrey Perganas. Yes, sir. Perganas were a revenue uh, designation or administrative level uh, area. What are Perganas? Sir, Perganas are 20, uh, the area that I come from, 24 Perganas. These were uh, 24 revenue areas that were given uh, by uh, Mir Zafar, post uh, 1970, 19, uh, 1757 uh, collapses was, sir. Given a chance to rename these Perganas, yes. how you will rename all the 24 Perganas? Is there something called 23 Perganas also? No. They all come together in a form of 24 Perganas? Yes, sir. So, don't you think this time has come to rename it now? Sir, uh, I, I do not really uh, feel there is a need of uh, renaming uh, the 24 Perganas. So, the, all the renaming being done currently, do you think it's not relevant? No, sir. I, I do not mean to say that. Uh, some uh, name changes that are, that are happening to uh, uh, cut, cut down the co uh, uh, colonial connotations to it. Uh, uh, those are, uh, I mean, many of them are relevant. However, I think many of them uh, could have been avoided. Sir. Okay. A few cases where this could have been avoided? Examples? Sir, uh, uh, sir, I would say uh, uh, there were uh, in the uh, uh, renaming of the uh, smaller areas. I mean, uh, uh, for example, renaming uh, uh, streets, uh, uh, changing their name. Uh, those are having. I mean, though they are having similar uh, administrative costs to it, like uh, they are, they have uh, in uh, changing uh, names of big areas. However, they are not uh, creating significant impact. Uh, 
you come uh, it's mentioned that uh, the caste you are coming from is nam sudra yes uh, what this caste is about all about how this claiming has been done <coughs> nam sudra uh, sir uh, this is uh, a, a lo- i mean uh, the sudra community it is uh, uh, the, i mean uh, in the uh, vedic era sir there were uh, i mean sudras are the low, uh, i mean lowest strata of the people and uh, namasudra was basically uh, i mean lowest among uh, the sudras Do you think there should be caste distinction today in India? Sir, ideally, uh, I believe there should not be. However, uh, there has been this historical injustices uh, towards a few castes in our, in our society, in our country. Uh, and uh, after all those historical injustices, sir, if we try to remove it right away today, then the historical injustice that has been done to those people will not be, uh, will not be able to make up for it. That is why uh, we should try towards a castless society. However, this is not the right time to go castless, I would say. Okay. You, you have shown your father's profession as teaching and your mother's profession as housewife. Yes, sir. But you can see that the annual income for both of them is reduced to nil. Yes, sir. Why, is such, you know, why so? Uh, sir, actually, uh, uh, I mean, I am the sole earning member of my family. Uh, however, for, uh, the, for, father's, for father's profession, I had to choose one because, I mean, uh, my father, uh, there were uh, options like either I had to choose the op- uh, profession with which he was associated earlier. However, I could not choose the uh, profession retired because he was not associated with any uh, organization from which he retired after uh, the age of 50. So, uh, I mean, since he is not working... The option of unemployment was not there? No, sir. For father, it was not there. It was not there? No, sir. Don't you think it's wrong to not keep uh, the option of unemployment or homemaker, house, husband? These options should be there? I understand, sir. It, it should have been there, but uh, it, it was not there. Give it a sir. chance. What, what are changes you'll do just to help the other future aspirants? What changes you'll do in the form, particularly for the profession part of mother and father? So there should be, uh, just like there is an uh, option called uh, housewife, uh, uh, there, there should be a similar uh, change uh, for, I mean, uh, for fathers as well. Uh, okay. Just and as you mentioned, house as well. Right, and the option of being unemployed, the choice of being unemployed for someone? Uh, that should also be included, sir. <coughs> okay. I, I see that you come from uh, the field of Bengali literature. Like you have taken your optional as Bengali literature. Yes, sir. But yes, in your graduation, you have taken physics. Yes, sir. So why such, uh, such a sudden turn from physics to Bengali literature? Yes, Any sir. particular reason? Yes, sir. So actually, I have done my graduation way back in 2012. And after that, I have been working with several organizations, sir. So I was uh, completely uh, not in touch with physics. However, I have studied from a Varnakunda medium school. And I, I also have interest uh, in reading uh, Bengali literature, sir. So Bengali was something that I was in touch uh, throughout. So that is why uh, when I had to choose an optional subject for my civil services uh, preparation, I thought why not uh, go with the subject that was there with me. Okay, tell me three ways how physics are related to Bengali literature. What uh, comparison or uh, you know parallel we can draw between physics and Bengali literature? One thing that comes to my mind right now is uh, regarding the uh, first law of Newton, which says that if, if you don't change anything, uh, uh, I mean, if, if you don't uh, apply force to a moving object or a uh, resting object, it, uh, it, it's, uh, it will not change. The uh, status of uh, it will not change. Uh, uh, the, if, you, if we try to apply this in case of society, sir, Bengali literature uh, will definitely deal, up, uh, it does deal uh, with the uh, societal aspect. So I would say in society also, we can say that if we if, if we do not change anything, if we if uh, then n- nothing will change. So that is one uh, similarity I could think of right now, sir. Okay. Any other any other similarity? Uh, sir, both gives us uh, some uh, necessary life skills. Uh, Unnecessary life skills. Necessary life Necessary skills. skills. Like yes, like. So, uh, for example, physics will give us uh, analytical ability. It will uh, uh, help us in our day, uh, understanding of day-to-day activities, uh, the scientific in scientific way. However, the Bengali literature will uh, uh, 
give us the philosophical uh, base for it and uh, help us understand the society in depth. So uh, that is one thing that I could think of. Okay. Uh, we all know that Newton is, you know, uh, uh, the master in physics. Yes. Right? Who do you think is the Newton of literature? Particularly the literature. Sir, I would uh, say uh, Rabindranath Tagore, sir. Rabindranath Tagore. Yes. Okay. Rabindranath Tagore, three important works, if you can add it. Yes, sir. So, uh, firstly, I would uh, uh, name Gitanjali, for which he uh, got Nobel uh, Prize in 1913. After that, sir, I would uh, like to uh, put all his uh, songs in one bracket, the Ravindra Sangeet. And then I would also like to uh, uh, note all of uh, all his uh, dramas uh, uh, in another bracket. Because choosing three different uh, items altogether is not... Uh, uh, I mean, I could not do that uh, because he has such vast areas of work. You're currently working as uh, SDICU. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. That is, that is what SDICU? Sir, SDICU stands for Subdivisional Information and Cultural Officer. It is a subdivisional level uh, post under the uh, government of West Bengal, uh, under the Department of Information and Cultural Affairs, sir. Okay. And before <coughs> that, you were working with State Bank of India? Yes, sir. Any particular reason of leaving such a reputed service at the bank? Uh, sir, since I was I was enjoying my time at SBI, however, since I was interested in civil services and uh, my current uh, position is giving me more uh, uh, chance to interact with the uh, with people in administrative services and getting I'm getting a chance to know how at ground level administration works. Uh, that is why I uh, chose this. Then over why you plan to leave it now? You are doing good. You are doing good for the government. Mamta Banerjee needs you. True, sir. However, I would uh, whatever I have learned uh, during uh, all these years in my experience uh, with uh, SBI and uh, currently in SDICO, I would uh, like to touch more lives and uh, be make more impact to my uh, uh, work uh, as an uh, in an administrative service officer, sir. Coming so, from the state to central will make it a big change in terms of impact you can make. So uh, the change of position, for example, for, from uh, coming uh, from SDICO, the number of lives that I can uh, touch uh, being an SDICO and the number of lives I can touch being an IAS officer, but definitely uh, there will be a big difference. Okay. You have, you have mentioned that you uh, will be willing to work as IAS officer. Yes, sir. So uh, if you get uh, any other service, yes, sir. say which you have rated as ranked as 10, Yes, will, will then also you will be changing your service, leaving the state government and coming to central civil services? Sure, sir. I will. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, I can see that before that also you have worked for long with yes, Tata sir. Consultancy Services. Yes, sir. So all these years of experience, yes, sir. don't you think you should make use of all of that in the state government? Sir, I am already making use of all my experiences in the state government. However, sir, all the experience that I have gained uh, in my uh, years of TCS and then state bank and then uh, with state government, I want to use all of them in the uh, union government, sir. So you're currently in the SDICO, which is Information and Cultural Officer. Yes, sir. What portion of Bengal's budget is going to Information and Cultural Ministry? Sir, I would have to check, sir. I I uh, I know that it has go gone up multifold uh, uh, in in the last few years, and uh, the current budget is. Uh, Probably around, uh, uh, I'm not sure, sir. Okay. What is the uh, central government's budget for Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for this year? <coughs> Will you budget? I'm sorry, sir. I'll have to check that. Okay. Uh, what is the total GDP of Bengal last year? Total GDP of Bengal? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not aware. Okay. Three major issues, issues of SBI, which SBI is facing. One of the issues, that, the first issue that I would uh, like to point out is the customer uh, customer perception about the uh, services that uh, are being provided by the bank. The second issue, sir, I would I would say uh, the amount of uh, uh, NPAs that is there, though it is getting lower and lower every day. However, uh, I mean NPA uh, does remain a big issue. Uh, the uh, third issue, sir, uh, I would uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to recall anything. Okay. The first issue, can you repeat that one? Sir, I said uh, it is the customer perception about the services. Uh, of, uh, Do you think that is the biggest issue which SBI is facing today? 
So I think that is that is even more than NPS. Uh, sir, but I think so because uh, NPS, the issue of NPS is getting reduced day by day. We have, uh, I mean, we have cut down a significant amount of NPS uh, in the last few years. Okay. Okay. Define NPA for me. What what is the basic meaning of NPA for someone who is not from economics background? Yes, sir. So uh, NPA is basically non-performing assets. So whatever loans a bank is giving out to uh, giving out that are that are his assets, that are the bank's assets, because it will uh, generate. Uh, uh, I mean, it it, it will uh, generate interest from that. So that is the asset. The, it turns non-performing when a when a loan is not being repaid for a period of ninety days uh, from the uh, date of. Uh, Okay. Tell me ways how we, how we can reduce the NPS. What are the ways, major ways? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, we have to. Uh, uh, I mean, we have to be uh, more vigilant while uh, giving away the loans. Secondly, they have. Uh, uh, there should be thorough uh, checking of, of uh, the customer status and uh, uh, that, that part, sir. And uh, uh, thirdly, sir, I would say. Um, um, not no just tell me the total NPA of State Bank of India today. The number. So I'm uh, not aware of the number. However, I, I think the uh, I'm sure it is. A, I mean, uh, the percentage wise, it is a uh, 3.9 percent sir, of the total. For, for SBI? Yes. It is a percentage of what? Uh, sir, SBI's total uh, capital cap, market capitalization. Uh, I mean, uh, NPA uh, to uh, market capitalization. Are you sure it will be NPA to market capitalization? Yes, sir. It will be NPA to market capitalization, non-performing assets out of total market cap. You are comparing assets to the total market cap. Will that be the right parameter? Uh, sir, I think, I'm sorry. I think it should be the total assets. Uh, of so, non-performing asset by the total asset. Uh, I think so. Shouldn't that be the right proportion to find out what percentage of asset is non-performing? True, sir. True, right? sir. That should be the case. <coughs> You also appeared for another exam recently for UPSC? Uh, sir, yes, sir. I had appeared for UPSC. Did you manage to clear that? Uh, no, sir. Okay. It appears that you are free of appearing clear on a uh, mission to appear for different exams, but not checking them. So, don't you think that you need to stop now and start delivering with whatever service you have been allotted at state government level? Sir, uh, firstly, I would say that I, I do not really agree uh, to the fact that I am on a spree of giving different exams and not settling down. I have I had started my preparation uh, for government exam uh, for, with the aim of clearing civil services, sir. And I have been changing jobs to accommodate time and uh, also since I, I am the sole earning member of my family, I have to balance both my uh, salary and uh, the time that I am getting out of my work to study for uh, civil services. So that is, I am just trying to keep that balance, sir. And uh, as far as uh, delivering is concerned, sir, I believe I have, I have been continuously delivering throughout my working years and uh, I am continuing to do so with uh, state government also and I will continue to do so uh, when I join uh, union government. But well. don't you think that you have kind of, when you keep on thinking about another goal with state government, don't you think it's injustice to the state government? Don't you think that's why maybe state government is not growing today? Because no one wants to work with state government, everyone is aspiring for civil services only. The central civil services. We need talents like you in the state government. Sir, uh, I would not really agree to the fact that everybody uh, who are in the state government services are aspiring for civil services and aspiring to move out of the job. There are many people who are very happy with the job. Even uh, I mean, uh, even I am also uh, quite happy with my job. However, sir, since I started my preparation, keeping in mind the uh, UPSC uh, civil services examination. That is why I am trying to uh, pursue my goals. Okay. Three major changes you would like to bring, which you cannot bring today at state government, but only you will be able to bring once you come to the central government. Three major contributions at the central government. <coughs> so, uh, firstly, I would say the number of uh, people uh, that I can affect, uh, whose life, lives I can touch. Uh, if I if I come to the uh, central government because uh, it, at state government I am uh, working in, a, in uh, working in uh, information and cultural affairs department and working only with the four cartels and uh, in bettering their life. Uh, whereas if I uh, come to the central government, I'll be able to work for many more people. Uh, second, uh, sir, that is the only point actually I'm able to. Uh, 
So think of one more reason maybe, which can uh, make us you know, uh, realize that okay, actually you want to become a civil servant at central level. You have some vision and reason to leave your job there. So any other contribution which you can think of? Sir, I will be having diverse profiles, sir. In, in the state government, I am having, I am uh, working only uh, in the information and cultural affairs department. However, as an uh, IDS officer, there will be various, uh, I will be attached with uh, different departments. There might be various uh, deputations in different uh, sectors. So, I will contribute more to various services, various sectors, and I will be able to learn from all my experiences there. So, uh, that is another thing I could think of. Okay. So, I will pass on to the other panel. So is it uh, Paramita or Poromita? Say, ma'am, it is Paramita. Okay. okay. So Paramita, tell me one thing. There's a scheme called Beti Bachao, Beti Padao scheme, right? Yes. So I, what I find from the data and the news is that it's more like rhetoric and a farce. What do you think about this scheme? Ma'am, I think it is uh, doing quite well in uh, uh, in uh, education of girl child and saving uh, the girl child, uh, stopping female suicide and uh, all those issues. I think it is quite uh, doing uh, doing quite well then. However, though, though all the goals are not achieved uh, completely, but they are uh, uh, doing better day by day, I would believe. Are you aware of the fact that uh, there was a report that 80% of the fund allocated was using for advertisement purpose? And it's only now that they have shifted the policy towards uh, utilizing the fund actually in actual field work. So can you just understand that uh, currently we see the girls around us, they are not actually directly impacted by this thing. Do you see this pattern around us? True ma'am. I am aware of the uh, uh, incident that uh, it, the report came out that uh, 80 percent, about 80 percent of funds are uh, being diverted towards uh, advertisement. However sir, ma'am, uh, the amount uh, that is being uh, driven towards the actual implementation of the scheme is also uh, significant, though uh, not the amount that, I mean, not the full amount is being utilized there. However, there is a significant amount of uh, fund that is being utilized uh, at the ground level, and I, I think that that is making in, uh, impact. And now that uh, it is, I mean, it is, uh, it is, it has come to the light, and uh, that 80 percent uh, was being uh, spent for advertisement, and the funds are being uh, redirected towards the actual implementation. It will have more effect. We are hopeful. Of how long are you using these glasses for eye correction purpose? Uh, Ma'am, uh, about two years ago. It's not reflected in your DAP for me to buy? Uh, Ma'am, it was uh, reflecting the light uh, actually, so I, I thought of switching it off. So can you tell me what is this uh, current idea of women-led development going on in G20 right now? What is this concept? Ma'am, uh, women-led development is uh, is uh, basically it is uh, turning the development of women from a charity-based approach to a right-based approach. It is it is uh, letting the women take the front seat in in development and uh, bringing them uh, bringing uh, the whole generation and uh, bringing everybody up instead of somebody else, uh, the uh, male counterparts lending them a hand and helping them come up. Can you tell me exact context why it is used in G20? I'm not sure. Are you aware of some uh, programs going on in G20 currently? Yes, sir. Just you read about this, okay? Sure. So tell me, you are coming from North 24 Paragonal, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you aware of certain local uh, papers or local newspapers in your area there? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I cannot name something that, that comes out from the district itself. However, uh,
at least at the local level because they are bringing certain news certain realities which the public in general should know how will you handle this situation yes ma'am ma'am as we know that uh, uh, media is the fourth pillar uh, of our democracy and uh, definitely uh, media should be empowered and uh, given the power to voice out uh, their findings however ma'am uh, since uh, since uh, you are saying that there are pressure from both the opposition and the ruling party i i uh, i am assuming that uh, they are finding the something very serious very complex and we need to uh, take care that i mean uh, whatever finding they they have that should be out in the public and that should be uh, left to the best judgment of the people however we have to first check if uh, the their findings have the potential of uh, creating any law and order issue and if uh, it is there we should be prepared beforehand before uh, letting the uh, findings uh, come out in public now. so will you allow them will you speak to some senior officials to allow them to continue their work sure ma'am uh, i mean in the age of transparency uh, i mean we should definitely allow them um, uh, to continue uh, with their work why not okay let's now take you to some state where probably news is coming that the kaise na the journalists ke liye mahol theek nahi hai Like uh, maybe 12 journalists are killed, more than 60 are assaulted. So in general, this issue, how do you think should be tackled in India? Like, let's speak. Give me two points at a state level how we can tackle this, and give me one or two points how can we tackle this issue at a national level? Do you think it's a national issue at all? Uh, ma'am, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I mean. Uh, even if there are a few few states which are having uh, this issue uh, in more numbers and uh, there are some uh, where the issue is not that much however if if, if a country like india if a democracy like in a de- democracy like india there are journalists being assaulted and being uh, uh, their, their voices uh, uh, being cut down uh, definitely it, it is a issue of national importance ma'am even if it is not spread nation wide and uh, if you were uh, you were asking about the solution plan how yeah. how we can um, uh, solve this issue i think from uh, the only uh, uh, solution is uh, the final solution is uh, in making the people aware of uh, the uh, i mean uh, of the importance of uh, honest media reporting uh, so that uh, they are uh, able to uh, i mean uh, judge on the best of their judgments uh, so so we should we should not have an independent body and just only let the people be aware about it definitely we should have uh, definitely we should have a, a independent body uh, ma'am do we have an independent body currently do we ma'am uh, yes uh, for uh, for example for print media we have uh, press council of india ma'am and uh, there are other uh, for uh, different organs, organs of the media ma'am. Okay, for me, sir, I can see that your graduation is in physics, mathematics, and electronics. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you just give me a basic understanding, some physics principle that goes behind the working of a refrigerator, how it works? Any other electronics of your choice you want want to explain how it works? Uh, ma'am, uh, probably uh, uh, a bulb, light bulb. Where uh, there is a, there, there is filament and uh, the filament has enough amount of I mean the filament has high resistance so whenever there is uh, uh, I mean current passing through the filament it is uh, heating up uh, because of high resistance of the filament it is heating up uh, the filament and uh, uh, that is why we are getting light ma'am. Okay. Uh, read more on that. Would you want uh, more details? Okay. So you, I can see some. Uh, Mention of State Bank of India, right? You yes, had ma'am. some working experiences. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> so currently we are finding again the picture of State Bank of India coming into the light as we see the Adani issue coming. Yes, ma'am. So the there is some debate going on how much exposure is there yes, of Adani Group and SBI. Yes, ma'am. And in a similar fashion, I think there was some the similar kind of um, aspect was there when scams by Harshad Mehta was going on. Yes, correct. Yes, so sir. today, what do you think that SBI is it failing in terms of governance? Do we need some independent governance for SBI, and uh, we have to reduce or minimize the government interference? Do you think there is some nexus going on? 
Sir, I do not really believe there is any nexus going on. Also, the internal governance of uh, SBI, as far as I am aware, is quite sound. And uh, also, as you just mentioned the Adani issue, uh, it has been found that uh, SBI has lent uh, lend it uh, to Adani, uh, keeping in mind all the uh, uh, proper regulations that, uh, that were uh, considered from. And uh, the exposure to Adani group is also below the, uh, one person. So uh, I do not think uh, there is any issue uh, with the internal governance structure of SBI for that purpose. Okay, fine. So the, I can see a lot of literary work and uh, Bengali literature. You seem to be very much interested in literature. Yes, right? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, Paramita, just tell me, any current fair going on in your state, West Bengal? Yes, ma'am. The Kolkata uh, uh, International Book Fair is going on. Ma What's the history of that? Have you ever been to a book fair in uh, Kolkata? Yes, ma'am. So, you have written about the literary work of Satyaji Ray. Yes, ma'am. Can you just pick, Paramita, one female character from any of his films and just tell me what you like the most about that female character? Yes, ma'am. Um, I would like to talk about uh, his film Devi, where uh, this, uh, this uh, I mean, uh, that is, she is a newly uh, married uh, girl and she uh, her uh, father-in-law suddenly uh, one day uh, sees her has a dream that uh, she is an incarnation incarnation of uh, go some goddess and uh, she is uh, I mean uh, they just start uh, worshipping her. So uh, in uh, that uh, movie ma'am there is another character who is uh, I mean uh, though uh, there is this lady herself who is, who is actually Devi she and all other people around are uh, actually uh, uh, thinking that she is an incarnation of goddess and they are, uh, they are trying to worship him. However, there is one lady who is totally against uh, of all these ideas and she is constantly uh, uh, I mean, uh, trying to convince everybody else that this is not the case and this is not how it should be. Uh, so, uh, while all the male counterparts of a society is, is, uh, uh, is uh, I mean, uh, believing in such a myth, uh, being a lady uh, and who, who are uh, thought to be more spiritually inclined, uh, so, so she is uh, rejecting all that and uh, she is uh, saying no to uh, uh, all this. Uh, that that character, ma'am, uh, I, I think I, I would say uh, I like the most. Here I can actually see that your father's profession is teaching. Yes, ma'am. But you can tell me one thing, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. As an outsider, there is some corruption, some scam going on. It seems like some corruption or scam is going on. Yes. There is some protest also going on. Sure. What is exactly this issue and what is the current status there? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, the whole uh, issue, uh, we can say, ma'am, there is this uh, teacher's eligibility test. So, uh, there are, uh, we can divide this issue in two parts, ma'am. First, uh, there was this teacher's eligibility uh, test in which uh, the selected candidates were not given appointment for a very long time and they were uh, protesting uh, for their uh, 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 I mean appointment. Ma and secondly, it was found out uh, that uh, the uh, uh, minister uh, in, in, involved, minister in charge uh, for, for the education department, he uh, uh, was allegedly, uh, uh, I mean he was alleged for uh, corruption ma'am and uh, there was some amount of money found out uh, uh, from his uh, flat and uh, he, uh, allegedly he was giving appointments to uh, unworthy people instead of the uh, worthy candidates. Do so you think this problem is now very serious, has come to a red flag level, where some sector intervention is needed? So, ma'am, uh, sector intervention is already there. Uh, I mean, the ED uh, is uh, taking care, uh, doing the investigation for this case. Yes, I think it has uh, taken uh, the taken uh, notice of uh, whole of uh, the country, and uh, yes, it is a, a serious problem. Ma However, ED is investigating, and uh, we hope to find a solution soon. Ma okay. So, have you read today's newspaper? Yes, ma'am. Did you find some news on some uh, lithium reserves? Yes, ma'am. So, I think there's some inferred lithium reserves to be found in Jammu and Kashmir. Yes, right? ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is the implication? Should we be happy about it? What is the exact implication for India uh, on this finding? 
Definitely, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, we definitely should be happy about uh, the findings of lithium reserves in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, ma'am. Because all this while India was not having uh, any lithium reserve, and lithium is very important uh, for uh, the integrated circuit and many of the appliances uh, that we use today. So, uh, uh, is this finding in Himalayan ecosystem? Yes, ma'am. And you still consider this finding to be a very uh, jovial or a happy finding? Do you think there's a possibility of us finding these resources from these fragile ecosystems? Uh, I understand, ma'am, uh, that uh, from uh, finding uh, such reserves from a, uh, such a fragile ecosystem is uh, not, uh, I mean, it, it should have, it, it would have its own uh, environmental implications. However, ma'am, uh, finding, I mean, uh, we were not having lithium reserves at all. And uh, now we know that uh, the reserves are there. We only need to make sure that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we need to... Are we certain that the reserves are there? Uh, ma'am, as far as I am aware, uh, uh, we are certain, ma'am. I, I think so. Some concrete findings still to take place exactly to exactly understand how it is. Okay, Paramita, okay. my last question to you is... Yes, sir. Tell me, what in your life leadership is all about and give me a, one example to support that from your own life. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, for me, uh, leadership is about uh, taking this, uh, taking charge of uh, your and uh, your team's uh, behavior and their uh, uh, contribution and uh, uh, try, uh, striving uh, more, more, more and more and uh, lead by example and be an example for the whole team. So that uh, all of the all of the team uh, strives uh, for, for for achieving uh, uh, the goal uh, that is set for the for the whole team, ma'am. And uh, for, for from my own life, ma'am, I would say uh, uh, recently in my um, in my own office there was uh, this incident that uh, it was found that uh, my office, ma'am, it, it is uh, uh, associated with uh, giving. A, I, I mean, uh, it uh, it gives. Uh, programs, cultural programs, the science cultural programs to folk artists ma'am. And when I joined the office, I found out that uh, only certain groups of uh, folk artists were given uh, given uh, programs, uh, were allocated programs and uh, many of uh, them were losing out, they were not getting programs. So I tried to find out with my team where the problem lies and uh, I, I got to know that there were some solutions that uh, uh, the, the from, from the folk artist team and I sat down with my team and I uh, uh, talked uh, to the uh, to those folk artists who were getting unnecessarily uh, more amount of uh, programs. And I, I uh, tried to uh, make groups of the people who were who not getting programs. And uh, uh, we trained them, we upskilled them a little bit. And now they are getting more more number of programs. Ma so they implemented your solutions? Yes, ma'am. And you persuaded them? Quite yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Paramita, uh, uh, Vishnu Bharti University is in news. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you tell me who is the chancellor of Vishnu Bharti University? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's in the Central University. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister himself is the chancellor. Are you sure of the government? Uh, I'm, I'm sure, ma'am. The Prime Minister. Okay. Uh, West Bengal has a huge problem of trafficking. Human trafficking. True. Sure. Why do you think uh, that is a major issue and how will you solve it? Ma'am, uh, the major issue, uh, it, it is a major issue because we are a bordering state. We, uh, we have our borders uh, with uh, uh, Bangladesh. So uh, that is the reason that uh, uh, this uh, trafficking of human, uh, human trafficking problem is there. And uh, for solving it, ma'am, I think we should uh, build better, better uh, arrange better consensus with the uh, uh, Bangladesh government so that uh, in, on both uh, areas we uh, can uh, handle this uh, problem iron fisted and uh, we should build up more education and awareness among the people so that uh, they also don't fall, fall prey to uh, uh, such instances. But uh, do you think only bordering uh, a neighboring country is the sole reason for human trafficking since you gave me only one reason? Well, currently I'm uh, able to think of only this one. There, there may be another reason as well. Okay. Uh, so you just said you watched the movie daily. Yes, ma'am. All right. So I am assuming you have watched other movies on the novel adaptation. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me the difference between the cinematic experience and the literary work uh, being projected in a similar uh, area? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, 
uh, in an organ, uh, they actually place uh, more chance of uh, uh, they place more chance of uh, uh, thinking and imagining. So uh, suppose in a novel, novel is somebody saying that a man just came in. I am uh, quite I, I can be liberal in my thinking of uh, how that person looks at uh, go go with my own imagination. However, in case of uh, uh, movies, ma'am, it is all it is uh, all the more ready made. Uh, I mean, a person is just projected, and I have to take him uh, the way he is. I mean, uh, it is more ready-made and more uh, uh, less chances of imagination are there. That is one thing I can think of. But don't you think movies offer you uh, much more of uh, uh, like audio uh, and uh, much more visual appeal? True, ma'am. That is, that what is do you prefer? Ma'am, I personally prefer reading novels, ma'am. Okay. Uh, since I have seen you have won a prize on public speaking, yes, uh, can you just speak on this topic for one minute? Yes, ma'am. Religion without science is blind. Religion without science is blind. Yes, ma'am. So, ma'am, uh, uh, religion is basically, if, if we go by the uh, Hindi connotation of it, religion uh, means dharma, and dharma is something that holds us, that up, uh, that uh, upholds us, and uh, so uh, religion is ideally something that uh, gives us the base of our uh, very uh, uh, very existence ma'am and uh, science on the other hand is uh, uh, it, it tries to uh, find out uh, the reasons of uh, why uh, what is happening is happening and uh, uh, how the uh, forces of uh, the world are working and uh, all this ma'am. So uh, if, if we go on only the religion part and uh, we do not uh, think uh, about the scientific approaches there may be cases where uh, uh, where uh, we misuse uh, religion and uh, do not take it uh, in its uh, truest term. For, uh, for example, ma'am, uh, in uh, many re many religions, for example, if we take, take about the recent Sabri Mala judgment, uh, Sabri Mala uh, uh, temple entry issue, ma'am, uh, the issue was basically that uh, by religion it was said that uh, women of menstruating age are impure and they should okay. be yes. Uh, okay, Kerala has recently allowed menstrual leave, uh, right? Uh, yes, for female uh, uh, employees. True. Uh, so, uh, what are your views on that? Ma'am, uh, menstrual leave is uh, uh, quite important and uh, it is very, it is uh, a commendable part thing on Kerala government's part that they have uh, implemented uh, this menstrual leave. However, ma'am, I, I uh, think uh, there should be, uh, before implementing this, Nationwide, if, if we think about that, uh, there should be uh, more. Uh, I mean, uh, we, we cannot just go, go on. Uh, I mean, go about implementing it. Uh, it the, we should. They, it is time that we uh, start uh, thinking about it. However, if we don't uh, uh, make sure that the uh, amount of uh, work days lost or work work hours lost, how that will be compensated against their male counterpart. Then I think, ma'am, with time or uh, instantaneously also, there will be uh, resistance from the male counterpart. And if uh, even if they are not, uh, I mean, uh, so it will not be very uh, helpful for the lady uh, to continue wor working in an environment where the male counterparts are thinking do that she is getting. Do you think there is a hiring bias in companies? I I do believe. I do How think do that, ma'am. How do you think we can tackle that issue? Uh, that is what I was saying, ma'am. I we need to make sure that uh, the work hours lost by uh, giving them uh, menstrual leave should uh, be compensated by some way or the other, probably. Uh, probably, ma'am, uh, since we are talking about uh, bringing it in the IT sectors or government sectors, there are certain amount of leaves that are there. So we can uh, probably uh, take it as a compensation. I mean, on, on another day, they, they, they might be allowed to work for a, uh, uh, I mean, uh, within, uh, suppose I'm taking a leave for, uh, for one, one or two days, and probably in two or three months, I, I need to compensate that work hour so that the male counterparts do not have a problem saying I am working less and getting the same amount of money. Okay. Uh, you have studied from Sister Navedita yes, uh, School. Uh, yes, ma'am. Who was Sister Navedita? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, Sister Navedita was an Irish lady. She met uh, Swami. She she was the uh, most important disciple of Swami Vivekananda. She met uh, Swami Vivekananda in London. And uh, she was so influenced uh, by her uh, by his teachings that uh, he, uh, she came to India. She lived uh, lived here and.
and uh, she was uh, she uh, worked on various uh, parts uh, of uh, for example women education she was very much involved uh, with the uh, both extremist and moderate, moderate uh, nationalist uh, uh, was she spiritual she was spiritual ma'am can you tell me what do we mean by commercialization of spirituality <coughs> I'm not, I'm not exactly sure of the term. However, I mean, uh, I, I think that commercialization of spirituality means uh, where uh, people is taking uh, uh, advantage of uh, someone's uh, spiritual needs and spiritual uh, inclinations to uh, make uh, money. That is what I think. Uh, you have been studying in an all-girls school. Yes, ma'am. Why not a poor education school? Um, that was a choice for my parents. I, that was a choice for your parents, but don't you think uh, by creating these restrictions, we are just perpetuating the gender gap and the gender stereotype, where uh, students are not interacting from young age, which leads to problems in high school. So do you think we should move forward towards a uh, co-education school? Ma'am, both uh, girls' school, boys' school, and co-education school, uh, they have their own uh, uh, benefits, advantages, and disadvantages. For example, uh, sorry, ma'am. How? Ma'am, for example, the uh, school that I studied in, it was started by Sister Nivedita for women, uh, women education only. So uh, these kind of organizations, they are, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is no point in changing uh, how how they have been operating uh, for all this while. Or, but ma'am, uh, I mean, even when a person is uh, studying in an all girls school or a all, all boys school, uh, he or she will be going out uh, for uh, probably private tuitions or for sports activities or different activities and there uh, he or she will get chance to interact with the other gender. So I do not really believe it uh, creates gender stereotyping or gender gap. Okay. Uh, you have, uh, your hobby is uh, reading uh, literature. Yes ma'am. How does literature contribute to society? Yes ma'am. Ma'am, uh, firstly, literature, uh, it uh, brings out the cultural side of a person. It, it uh, makes people more culturally inclined. Secondly, literature, it gives an in-depth un understanding of the society and people's emotions, which uh, helps uh, which helps the society in and, uh, building empathy and other uh, uh, other uh, emotions, ma'am. Also, uh, it, it uh, gives one uh, hope and vision. For example, if I'm reading a uh, uh, reading a story and I'm finding a person is, is is in a very sad mood, and after few few pages, I'm I'm finding that uh, he's uh, out of his sad mood and uh, he's all happy. Uh, so uh, probably uh, I get a hope that uh, maybe if I'm in a bad time currently, it will uh, be over someday. So uh, it gives hope and imagination to people. I think. Last question. Yes, uh, this is your first attempt. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think you are a slow learner? Uh, it took you so many years to reach your interview stage? Uh, actually ma'am, when I started my preparation in 2018, that was the first year when I got to know about the civil services and I was thinking about uh, appearing for the services. Uh, so uh, since I, I belong from a reserved category ma'am, I had no, uh, no uh, limited attempts. So I thought why not just start uh, uh, giving. So I gave the first two attempts with uh, almost zero preparation ma'am and uh, it is actually uh, from the third attempt, ma'am, I, I started uh, preparing for it seriously. So I have not really, all, all, also ma'am, all this while I have been working, I have been uh, uh, I'm managing my family and studies all together. So I do not uh, believe I'm a slow learner. Thank you ma'am. <coughs> so, Parvita, uh, you are from Barakpur. Yes. Right? Yes sir. So, what is the role of Barakpur in Indian history? Yes sir. So uh, most people know Barakpur as the uh, uh, starting uh, place of the 1857 uh, uh, Sepoy mutiny. However, sir, before that also there was uh, during the anglo Burma War there was another Sepoy uh, resurgence uh, in in form uh, I mean in, in Barakpur itself in the in the same regiment itself and it was uh, led by uh, Captain Vindya Tiwari. So uh, that, that are the two things I can uh, remember regarding uh, Indian national movement uh, that associates with Barakpur. So uh, you talked about 1857 revolt. Yes. And uh, what was Meerut's role in 1857 revolt? Meerut. Uh, do you uh, recall somebody named uh, Bhakt Khan in the 1857 revolt? Uh, I, I do recall the name, sir, but I, I'm not able to. Uh, okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, so, uh, I see that you have quite an interest in literature. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, do you know who 
who is the national poet of Bangladesh? I'm sorry, it's not a question. Okay. Uh, so, what is the role of language in? Uh, so, recently we had our uh, world uh, in Mother Language Day. Yes. Yesterday, yes. I believe it was. Yes. Yes. And what is the role of language in the Bangladeshi movement, uh, independence movement? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, language plays a very important role in Bangla uh, Bangladesh. Uh, independence movement. Basically, after uh, partition in 1947, sir, there were two parts of uh, uh, Pakistan as we know, the West Pakistan, the current Pakistan, and East, pa East Pakistan, which is the current Bangladesh, sir. So, uh, uh, Urdu, uh, I mean, uh, the Western part of Pakistan, it was uh, forcing Urdu as the only national language of Bangladesh, and uh, while uh, people in uh, East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh, uh, their, uh, their, their mother tongue was Bengali. So they, they, did not, uh, they did not allow this uh, forcing of another language as their national languages. And they, uh, people, students from Dhaka University in 1951, they started fighting for their rights uh, to speak their, uh, their mother tongue as their uh, official language. And uh, that is how all, it all started. And uh, this uh, eventually uh, led uh, to uh, uh, more serious conflicts, which uh, eventually led to uh, Bangladesh's national movement. So yes, it did have a very serious effect. Okay. Um, so from your DAP, I see that uh, you identify yourself as an EWS. Economic legal section? I do not. Uh, so in the uh, part where you have to say that whether your family owns or possesses any of these uh, five acres of agriculture, land and above and all that, yes. so you mark no. So I feel yes. that you identify yourself Apart from being an SC candidate, you also identify yourself as being an EWS candidate. Sir, uh, yes sir. I mean, uh, as far as the uh, criteria of uh, considering oneself as economically weaker section is considered, I uh, would have uh, considered myself as EWS. However, I did not uh, want to take the reservation since I was already having another one. Yes. Uh, so, you know the EWS criteria and there have been certain debate uh, regarding the EWS criteria. So, do you know what this issue is about and uh, what is the major issue? Yes, sir. So, uh, the EWS, uh, there is uh, the current controversy is regarding, basically regarding the EWS uh, quota that is being given and uh, it, it was said that it is bre uh, breaching the 50% reservation limit. Uh, but, uh, however, sir, uh, it, Supreme Court has, already Supreme Court has finally upheld the EW, EWS reservation instead of, uh, I mean, though it is uh, breaching the 50% uh, reservation limit uh, and uh, that is it. Sir. And uh, has the Honorable Supreme Court mentioned anything about the criteria which has been suggested by the government regarding EWS? Or uh, do you recall anything about that? I'm sorry, sir, I'm not interested. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so there was a uh, respected panelist asked you about Sister Nivedita and yes. uh, her role in India. Yes. Uh, do you recall any other Irish women who uh, played a role in Indian history? Now, uh, sir, I am able to recall Miss Sara Boon, who was also a friend of Sister Nivedita, and she also uh, played great uh, role in uh, Indian national movement, sir. Uh, she was instrumental in find, uh, foundation of uh, Boshu Vigyan Mandir, who, which was founded by uh, Jagdish Chandra Boon, sir. Okay. Um, so, I see that you graduated from Seth uh, Anandram Jaipuria College. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do you know who is Seth Anandram Jaipuria? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, he was an industrialist in the cotton uh, cotton industry who started uh, uh, his, uh, I mean, he, he was uh, the first uh, generation industrialist of his family and uh, later he uh, went on to build, uh, build a group of, uh, I mean, group of businesses and uh, then uh, they ventured in uh, educational and uh, health sector, uh, social services uh, sector, all these stuff. Okay. So, uh, the college that I studied from was a part of the educational social uh, services uh, venture that uh, they started. Okay. Uh, I see that you have quite a, a long work experience in uh, Tata Consultancy Services. Yes, sir. Uh, who is the current chairman of Tata Consultancy? Uh, sir, uh, I'm sorry, you are the detail sir. Okay. So, uh, you know the entire issue that happened, I believe it happened during your tenure, uh, the differences between uh, Ratan Tata and uh, Cyrus Mistry. Mm, yes sir. Right? Yes sir. So imagine yourself as the chairperson of SEBI. 
and how would you handle the impact of the Tata and the uh, Tata mystery clash? Uh, yeah, how would you handle that and its impact on the stock exchanges if there is any? Yes, sir. So, uh, we would, uh, I, I would say I would instruct the uh, uh, chair, uh, chairperson of uh, the Tata Sons to uh, keep the clashes that are there uh, to a minimal and uh, uh, probably uh, uh, try to uh, resolve their internal clashes uh, internally so that uh, the news of their clashes do not uh, have a speculative, uh, uh, I mean, so that people do not speculate with the false, uh, the uh, price of uh, share of Tata which will fall and uh, it, it will have an impact on the uh, share market of the uh, country. So I would just uh, ask, uh, request them to keep their internal uh, clashes uh, to a minimum and probably out of the pur purview of uh, public programming, if possible. Okay. So I see you graduated in physics. Yes, sir. Uh, can you tell me what is BC and what is AC? Uh, sir, uh, um, uh, sir, AC is alternating current. I'm uh, not able to recall uh, BC. Okay. Uh, do you uh, know the idea behind it? Can you tell me solar power, is it BC or AC? I'm sorry, I'm not able to recall. Okay. Uh, so, I see that you won a prize in an, a speaking competition at SPI, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Can, uh, do you recall what uh, the speaking competition was about? Yes, sir. So it was uh, the how we can use technology in uh, banking sector, sir. Okay. And it was a extempo speech or it was prepared? It was prepared, sir. Okay. Um, okay. So I see that uh, you are also fond of the works of Satyajit Ray. Yes, sir. Um, so I I uh, I agree that you read many of his works. Yes, sir. And which Satyajit Ray work, according to you, should be adapted, and who? according to you.